Remote learning, online connectivity, and now state testing. It's another educational issue being debated during this pandemic. We need to stop um, the high stakes testing so don't we, keep, we don't keep losing kids. I mean, they're going to tune us out, and um, that doesn't help us. It doesn't help our communities or our economies. September 3rd, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos sent this letter to state school officers nationwide saying the decision to waive state testing for the 2020-2021 school year was the right call early on in this pandemic. But DeVos goes on to write, quote, It is now in our expectation that states will, in the interest of students, administer summative assessments during the 2020-2021 school year. In this tweet, Lakota School Superintendent Matt Miller call the move educational malpractice. The only thing it's going to do is it's going to make, I think, students even have a higher level of anxiety um, if they're students with special needs or students that don't have special needs in that regard um, through their IEPs. And so why put that extra burden right now on the backs of our kids and on the backs of our teachers. Ohio Senate Bill 358, introduced two days before DeVos's letter, could press pause on the high stakes testing by spring. Part of the bill seeks a waiver for federal testing requirements no later than December 15th. If there is no waiver, the state education department will determine which assessments are necessary to meet federal requirements as well as adjust the dates. Well, this bill is currently in session. Now, for some school districts, it's already too late as students will begin the measure of academic progress assessment as early as next week. I did also hear from CPS administrators, and they say they are monitoring the bill and they're committed to preparing their students for testing.